you are welcome to my channel once again we want to learn how to change the CMOS battery on a laptop this laptop as it is what we have is that um, it does not uh, uh, retain the correct time and date any longer it doesn't reti retain the correct time and date any longer so for that reason we need to change the CMOS battery all right what we have the CMOS battery the new one so we need to um, this is the new one so we need to remove the old one from the system and then replace it with the new one so let's start um, the work so we want to remove the uh, 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 the back cover of the system so as to expose the motherboard and the CMOS battery therein but before then we need to remove the the laptop battery the first thing is to remove the power then remove the laptop battery okay we remove the ba laptop battery now then we begin to unscrew to unscrew the back cover okay you unscrew the back cover so we open the, the first thing is to open the back cover of the system to expose the motherboard and see where the CMOS battery is on the motherboard so we do that Right. Okay. So all the screws have been removed. The next thing is to open the, the cover from here. You see that they put a small space here where you can actually open it yes so we have the, uh, the motherboard inside and then we are going to okay this is the CMOS battery that is wrapped in a, a kind of a, a rubber rubber like a foil to wrap it all right and it's uh, connected to the motherboard through this connector here so we disconnect it first then we need to expose the battery there in and then replace it that's what we are going to do so we see the uh, the motherboard and the internal components such as the the fan this is the processor fan and this is the cooling system for the processor we have the heat sink and the rest we have the ram right here so our job is to replace this uh cmos battery to replace this CMOS battery so we need to expose this battery so what do we do we need to cut this rubber a little bit okay so this is the type of system used here all right so they use um, a permanent connector time connecting terminal to the uh, battery the negative and the positive is uh, permanently connected through the connector here so what we have here is um, uh, the negative and then the positive so what we are going to do is to replace that with the new one that we have you see and the battery the number there is cr 2032 and that is a lithium cell battery that we have here it's a lithium cell battery we're going to use it to replace the the, the, the old one so but to find out whether the old one is still fine you can check that through a multimeter like this to check the voltage on the battery and switch the multimeter to the uh, DC voltage measurements you can see that here DC volts 
you can select uh, uh, 20 volts for instance okay then we can check that voltage using the multimeter okay this is a negative here the negative terminal and the positive terminal so this voltage uh, this battery is bad it's not showing any good uh, voltage it's uh, very poor so we need to replace it that's our uh, job now this is a new CMOS battery uh, this is a lithium cell of um, the, the part number is CR2032 3 volts okay So we use it to replace the old one. Okay. So we put it back into the plastic uh, container. So we find a way of um, holding the terminals to the surface of the battery. After that, we connect the battery. Connect the battery, then we do we cover it. We put the back covered again, and then we, then we screw the uh, back cover in, into position again. After screwing it, then we put the the battery back and then it is ready for testing all right Okay, so put back the battery. The system is ready for testing now. 